In this video, I will show you how to unlock the lowest prices for all police cars from the new GTA Online update. You will be able to unlock regular prices and trade prices, the method works for all police cars. To unlock the regular prices for police cars, you need to complete two tasks in free mode. The first task is to hold up with three wanted stars for at least five minutes. To do this, you can use the Karuma armored vehicle. After that, we get into the car and start breaking the rules until the third wanted star appears. After that, we wait five minutes. And when five minutes have passed, you need to break away from the police. You can call Lester or hide in the tunnel. The second task is to break away from the chase after four or five stars of the search. There is no time limit. For this, I will also use the Karuma armored car. After the appearance of the fourth police wanted star, you need to hide from the police in the tunnel. By following these two steps, you will unlock the regular price for police cars. But to unlock the trade price, you need to buy a business, salvage yards. It is not necessary to buy an additional improvement for the business. After that, launch the interaction menu and register as the organization boss. Enter the salvage yards building. After that, go to the computer and start stealing the car. Choose the Grotti Turismo Omaggio car theft mission. Because only after this mission will you be able to unlock the trade prices for police cars. After that, complete the prep missions. Start the scope out mission row. I'm going to show you how to accomplish this mission. To complete this mission, you need to take three photos of the police station. Okay, we're breaking into the police station here, so we gotta make sure our shit is nice and together, agree? We need shots of our way in, so to start, head for the roof and take a pic of the air vents. Pickin will fly in via one of their choppers to look legit, so get a shot of those too. Last thing, we need to see how we're getting out, so we don't end up like my homie in there. Take a picture of the rear exit of the building. Okay, cool. So those are the choppers they're used to seeing approach the building. We'll have to get our hands on one of these if we want to make it onto the roof. Cool! These are the air vents. We should be able to throw a gas grenade right through those and knock out most of the guards. We'll probably need some tactical armor to deal with the rest, though. After that, Return to the Salvage Yards building. Mission accomplished. Other missions are very easy to complete. The final preparation task is the three tasks on the map, which are marked with a green icon. After completing the preparation, you will be able to start the mission to steal the Grotti Turismo Omaggio. After delivering the stolen vehicle to your Salvage Yards warehouse, you will unlock the trade prices for the unmarked cruiser and police riot car. To unlock the latest trade price for the Stainer Low Cruiser car, you need to find the random criminal scene event. Now you can see the locations where you can meet this event in free mode. This event appears at any time, but it can't appear if you have another random event active. I was able to encounter this scene in the center of the city. After that, you need to seize evidence from the police to complete this event. Task completed and we have unlocked all trade prices for police cars from the new GTA Online update. After completing this event, you will be able to buy any police car at the lowest price. It will be stored in your garage as a personal vehicle. 
You can customize your police car at any workshop except Los Santos Customs. That's all. If you liked this video, then like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you all for watching.